Well, the ducker itself, hopefully, is it, what's that called, the casing right there? The, the boot or the red the boot? boot? Yeah. That's corroded, okay. And we should get right into the plenum because the plenum, we're just basically shooting this way and it's going to turn me and get right into it. So we'll be able to see cool. right away if I can get around this corner. It's always the challenge. Actually, let me, there we go. All right. Is that the plenum? Yep. Looking at upside down, like this camera doesn't have self-leveling, so this is the bottom of it, which is what we would expect. To. In fact, I, it almost looks like they have at some point when they, probably when they put the new unit in five or six years ago, is when they did some duct work and they've gone in and sealed that up. This is kind of like a what they call mastic, which is a like a almost like a caulking that they paint on and seal things with. A little bit of corrosion upon the wall there, but that's not bad at all. We'll get it. We'll get in from another angle and get another look at it. But that's there's not any water in there, which is our number one concern. So that actually looks really good. It's yeah, it's dry. And I. Oh my gosh, Steve, I pulled off the vent cover in the house we were in, and there was dirt all the way up to the vent. Oh, that's, yeah, that's It was awful. I couldn't believe it. And it wasn't, like, near a door, because sometimes when there's, like, dirt near a door, it just happens with, like, traffic. Yeah, right, this right. This was in the living room next to the fireplace or something like that. It was, like, it was not a oh, it was the worst I've ever seen when I've lifted a vent cover up. Oh, well, that hurt being down there like that for so long. <laughs> What's that? I said, that kind of hurt me. <laughs> oh, I was in a weird, awkward, like a child's, not quite, <laughs> the yoga position. Let me know if you need any help. You have an athlete here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might be athlete. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I'm and take a wall. I'm an athlete, but it's only a, I ride a bike about 10,000 miles a year, but it's funny. He rides, he is a cyclist. Like, my husband and he ride together, and he is, like the best life let's say that. Um, he found me on the Peloton at our house one time and he found me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's weird the things I don't I I have been injured and so I've got a shoulder that I just had rehabbed, I had shoulder surgery. Uh, and uh you need some knee pads for this. Well, no, no, not too bad. Yeah, I used to be a professional soccer player when I was back in Nepal. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I used to play uh, Major League Soccer. And actually, when I came to OSU, um, I thought about like getting a soccer scholarship. Uh huh. But I didn't realize like soccer is not a thing in the U.S. and um, that was a really big blow for me because I could have made a career in soccer um, and then I, I thought about getting scholarship at OSU and they only had like a girls team. I was like, oh no. And I did play against OSU girl, girls team though. Oh wow. And I scored four goals.
for, so this is a good look at the plenum because you can actually see there's a little bit of corrosion on here but that's again for the I expect to see some we don't see any significant sand on the bottom or anything which is really just what we don't want what can really deteriorate it could be clean though Have you ever worked with Thunder Ducks? What's the guy's name? Manny. Probably want to have him look at it just because I think there there was a little bit of sand in that line and um, probably a minimum cleaning it. Okay. But there's even just you can see all the stuff they ended up coming out of this register here that was this is just mostly debris probably from pets and what have you and I'm not sure if they have dog. I don't think that. Okay. Um. No, I'm, I'm yeah, I've got more. Manny as a contact. There's another company, Luke Hibbs with Safe Air Ducks. Yep. Do you recognize that name too? Um, I haven't worked with them, or you know, as far as uh, referral, uh, uh -huh. you know, to them. But I don't have any contact with even Thunder, other than I just know they're good and reputable. Yeah. Um, so Luke was less expensive than Manny on a quote that I had gotten for another client. Oh uh, yeah. So. Well, and the thing, I, the one thing I will say with Thunder that I've heard in the past, depending on the time of the year, they can be really busy and hard to get into. Which was one of the other reasons I got a hold of. Oh, here's some more up here too. Kind of oh up. Yeah. Um, that's what um, I think. That's how I got this information in the first place because Manny was like three weeks out. Yep. And I needed him to look at a property. Which at this time of year, it's hit or miss. I think it'd probably be less likely that they'd be busy. Okay. I can try calling him right now. Take a few more. The good news is the overall integrity looks good. So. It's kind of funny because hot air rises, I, and I honestly don't know if I know the exact answer, but from from a heating standpoint, having it in the floor, the hot air rises, so that kind of makes sense. It would probably heat a little bit more efficiency, or it be more efficient. Whereas when it's cooling, coming from the ceiling, the cool air drops. So, I, but I, you know, just because of you know the as we've kind of learned accessibility and everything you'll still see this on some nicer homes especially when they have really big ceilings or yeah. they have limitations even newer ones yeah but it's most common now I think just because of the expense Remind to run it to the ceiling like year was it when they changed that part with 
Yeah. About 2,000. 2,000? That's yeah. what I typically talk about. Yeah, around, around there is when it kind of... This is a decent look at the plenum and... I need to make sure nobody wears scrubs in the house. Wait, what? When you talk about the floor, uh -huh. you need to make sure nobody wears scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you talk about the floor, you need to make sure nobody wears scrubs. I'm telling you, as a winter here in Oklahoma, I check the wind speed before I get dressed some days. <laughs> and like, I've learned the hard way. If I'm wearing a skirt, it might not work in my favor. <laughs> But if you come look at this this floor register here, this is new, and this yeah. has been replaced. This is that looks really yeah. at all period thank you for letting me know